It's incredible. This has been a revolution. So you want to burn your playlists onto your custom audio CDs. You want to transfer songs to portable MP3 players, like Creative Labs and Rio players, for example. And you can listen to internet radio stations, right? So how do you do this? You go out and you get a music player, an application. And these are the three big ones that have been on the market until last month. One by Real Networks, right, the real player. Another, which is the Windows Media Player for Microsoft. And a third one from Music Match, which uh, HP OEMs. And this is what they look like. And as you can see, they're all really complicated. They're very difficult to learn and use. And they have a lot of restrictions. Some don't let you encode into MP3. Most of them limit the encoding quality. Most of them throttle back the encoding speed to slow you down. And all of them throttle back the CD burning speed to 2x to slow you down. Why? So that you pay the money and get an upgraded version. And they can make money. And this is what they all do. Well, last month we decided to change this with iTunes. And rather than having to work with something this complicated, we give you something like this that is more powerful and yet dramatically simpler at the same time. And of course, it works in Kun, it works in Japanese. Now, what I'd like to do now is give you a demo of iTunes if you haven't seen it. Let's take a look. So, we launch iTunes, and here it is. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just rip a song. Oh, yes, okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's get this disc out of here. <clears throat> and I will put in a CD here. And what iTunes is going to do is read that CD and then go to the CD database and look up all the songs because the song names are not on a CD, as you may know. And so it's just done that. And I can play a song just by, uh, you know, clicking on it. It's been one week to look at me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, select one song to go ahead and rip. And I'll just push this button called Import. That's all I have to do. And uh, now iTunes is automatically bringing that in and compressing it to MP3. You can play the songs while you're importing them or not. It's importing them at eight point, uh, over eight times, real time. Yeah, 7.9 here, 8.2. And uh, it's bringing in that one song. Now, when it brings the song in, it puts it in my library right here. And there's that one song been ripped into MP3. And so you can take all your CDs and just rip them into your library. I've got a, a few over here. You can just drop music onto iTunes, and it'll automatically import it into its library. And uh, so it's going ahead and bringing in the songs I just dropped on it. And uh, it turns out there's a lot of them. Uh, I have over 1,000 songs I just dropped on iTunes here, and it's importing all of them right now. And there they are. I've got 1,007 songs in here. Uh, this is um, 4.5. Four gigabytes of music, right? And here it is. I can go through it like this, and uh, pretty neat. And I can just click on anything, and anything you want. So now, how do I find something though? That's a lot of music. Well, I can do it two ways. I can use a browser, and so I've got every artist here. So I can say Bob Dylan. And I can pick Highway 61, and there's Highway 61, and uh, listen to Desolation Row. Or I can go back and I can say, let's pick, uh, you know, Dylan Thomas, Child's Christmas in Wales, and... Uh, Do not go gentle into that good night. Or anything I'd like back here, right? Joni Mitchell. Anything I want. But there's a faster way to find things with iTunes. Because we've automatically indexed every song, artist, and album, and genre. And so I can just start typing, and it'll automatically filter things instantly. So let's say I want to find um, uh, 
a Beatles song across the universe. All just start typing in universe. U, N, I, V, there it is. Or let's say I want to find uh, uh, just um, uh, Joni Mitchell songs, right? J-O-N-I. There's all my Joni Mitchell songs. Or I can type in an album. Uh, let's say um, uh, Highway 61 Revisited. And mostly that's what it's found. So I can find things very, very fast here. Now, I can also build playlists. I can just say, let's build a playlist here, and I'll call this playlist Macworld. And I've got myself a playlist. And now to get things over into my playlist, all I have to do is drag them. And so I can go ahead and um, <clears throat> let me take uh, one week here. Oops. One week. There's my song, One Week. I've got two copies in here. I can drag that to my playlist. I can go back here and I can say, um, uh, whoops, Dylan, uh, Bob Dylan, let's say, and um, drag Ballad of a Thin Man in and Highway 61 in. And I can also uh, go back to here and uh, browse this and say, I want to take a whole, uh, let's say a Beatles, I want to drag out all of Abbey Road in there. I can just drag a whole album in. And now here's my playlist. These are the albums. I can rearrange them, of course, put them in any order I want to, delete them, keep adding to them, whatever I'd like. And to burn a CD, it's as simple as going back up here and hitting the burn button, popping in a CD, popping in a CD, and basically burning a CD. I'm not going to take the time to do that, but it works seamlessly. Now, in addition to that, I've got two other things I can do. I can plug in a portable MP3 player. Here's a portable MP3 player, uh, a Nomad 2, which I love. 